One, two, one, two. All right, yo. Yo, whoa, what is up, what is up? Wow. What just happened? Francis Ngannou has done the impossible. Like, li literally. I literally thought he was going to get knocked out. Like, in the middle of the fight. But no, he actually held his own against Tyson Fury. Beat him, in my opinion. Even though, whatever, regardless what the scorecard says, in my opinion, and not only in my opinion, in many of a lot of other people's opinions, Tyson Fury lost his fight. As simple as that, man. He lost his fight, period. He lost his fight. Francis Ngannou won this fight, man. He won this fight. He dictated the fight, in my opinion. He was all the aggressor. Tyson Fury, after Francis dropped him in the third round with a vicious hook on top of the head, knocking down Fury. After that, he was just gun shy. He wasn't, you know, throwing that many punches. He was just, he was afraid of the power of Francis Ngannou, man. And in Francis Ngannou, actually, even in the score, even though in the points, in the, uh, in the punches, in the punch stats, they're so close, dude. And I even I think in the score, in the in the punch stats, even I think Egano has more power punches, man. He I think he just did better than Fury, man. Fury looked awful. He looked sloppy. He did not look like that testing Fury that we all know. He like the magic, the footwork, and like the like movement, like it's gone, like. He just, I don't know, man. He just does not look like... It could be, obviously, his age and the fact that he has been... Not been that active as he should be, you know? He hasn't been that active. It could be that, man. Because, man, like, he just looked awful. Like, he did 12 weeks, a 12-week camp, man. Like, he looked awful. I can't believe it, man. I cannot believe Francis Ngannou beat Tyson Fury, man. He beat him. He dropped him. And she was just hurt him. Like, Tyson Fury didn't have Francis Ngannou hurt at all. Francis Ngannou was the one that had Fury, you know, on alert, man. Like, fuck. He even had Tyson Fury throwing elbows, bro. He... The fact that Francis Ngannou had Tyson Fury throwing fucking elbows and f literally try to take him down MMA style, it's just, you could just tell the urgency that Tyson Fury had in that fight. Like, he was lost. He just did, he just tried to faint, but he kept fainting, but he just wasn't actually committing. And he gassed out, man. Like, I think around round seven, he was gassed. He was gassed, man. If Francis Ngannou was not gassed, I think Francis Ngannou would have probably had, had enough to knock him out, man. But, but Francis Ngannou gassed out as well. So he wasn't, he didn't have that energy to, uh, to push a little bit more to give it a fury, you know. But I'm just, I'm just pro proud of Francis Ngannou, man. This opened so much door, so much opportunity for, for him. He he's able to like fight any other boxer now. He he could fight Andy Ruiz. He could fight Deontay Wilder, bro. Like I'm telling you, this opened a lot of doors for Francis in boxing, man. A lot of people, a lot of promoters are are going to be wanting to, you know, want to make some deals with him. But um. Yeah, man. It sucks for boxing. It sucks for Fury. It sucks for boxing in general. Cause he embarrassed boxing. You know, he literally embarrassed all the legends that were out there. There were so many boxing legends out there, and other just legends of other sports and other uh, arts in general out there, like Eminem. And they had a bunch of you know legends out there, and he embarrassed everybody, all the legends, especially the boxers. The boxing legends that were out there watching the fight, he literally embarrassed all of them with that performance, man. He looked awful. If he 
literally if he goes like this against Yusik, he's gonna he's Yusik which is more technical. Oh man, dude, Yusik is gonna have a Yusik is licking his chops. He's licking his fingers right now. He's licking his lips at just the sight of seeing a Tyson Fury who just did not look the same. And he's probably so excited, man. And he probably he can't wait, man. Can't wait. Now, I, my chances at first, before this fight, I had Fury beating Music, but now with this performance, man, after seeing this Fury, and I'm giving Music more way more of a chance now to beat this Fury, man. Wow, I can't wait. I can't wait, man. But look, this is what sucks about boxing, bro. Boxing is rigged. But look, boxing needed Tyson Fury to win no matter what. So this win already was already on Fury's bank before the bell rang, bro. Before the bell even rang, this fight was already for Fury. So there was no the only thing Ty, uh, Francis, Francis could do was to knock him out completely, to knock him out cold. But other than that, knowing how Fury gets up. There was no way Francis would have gotten the decision, man. Because they want that fight. They need that fight to happen against Usyk. For the big money. You know, so that's why I'm saying. This is it. This needed to happen. It sucks, man. It sucks. But yeah, man. But we are... Everybody knows who won this fight. Francis and God beat Tyson Fury, man. Incredible stuff. Incredible stuff from Ngannou, man. What a man. What a man.